many things can make traditional banking aggravating, right? So you got the overdraft fees, charges to withdraw money at an ATM, and monthly account fees. That's just a few of them, and it can really add up. Well, now, just the way Netflix got rid of late fees for video rentals, a new wave of banking apps is looking to shake up the industry. Tech correspondent Samuel Burke has been investigating these mobile tools. He joins us now from London. Samuel, good morning to you. Good morning, Lynn. You know, there are so many physical things we need when it comes to a bank, depositing checks, withdrawing cash. So is this sort of going to make the community bank in every town obsolete, or how is this going to work? Well, I think they're really going to give it a run for their money at the very least. I think what's most appealing about these apps is that they don't have the overdraft fees and the monthly fees that so many people do not want to pay. We've been looking at two of them, one called Simple Bank and one called Movin, and they're really just apps. And what's really great about them is really the fact that they... Uh, don't have bank branches, so they take that savings that you'd have to pay in real estate and pass that on to the customer so you don't have to pay those fees. And they're really smooth technology. These are tech companies that are doing banking. They don't even hold the actual money themselves. That's actually in a bank. They're really just banking services. But again, they pass on the money they save just like Netflix did. They didn't have to pay for the stores like Blockbuster had, and so they stopped charging late fees. And so that's how they're able to avoid the overdraft fees. It surprises me because I would imagine banks make a lot of money from the overdraft fees just like credit cards, making a lot of money on that interest for late payments. So how are the banks going to compensate for this? And do they have a partnership with these apps so you know it's things like federally insured and security not an issue? So here's, the, here's how it works. Because they're not the actual ones holding the money, they're actually partnering with the bank, all that money is FDIC insured, so up to $250,000 right now. The other thing that's interesting is there are some hiccups along the way, Lynn, because what about depositing cash? You have nowhere to deposit it because there is no physical branch. That can be an issue. Someone like me, that's not a problem because, you know, I get my direct deposit from work and I don't use cash that much. And if you want to deposit a check, you just take a picture of it. And if you want to withdraw money, you can withdraw money from ATMs. They have an ATM card that you give you that they give you, and it works at a large variety of ATM chains around the United States. But that was a hiccup, not being able to deposit cash, because some people actually have cold, hard cash. Imagine that. <laughs> and also withdrawing large amounts of money was an issue. But it is FDIC insured, and that's always the most important thing when we talk about banking. And I love that you bring up that point of an ATM card that they provide for you. So you can go to any ATM and you aren't charged that fee, because it's sometimes 350 something like that that adds up a lot yeah they have a network that makes it free you won't pay anything they will never charge you but if you go to an ATM that's outside that other institution might charge you but the actual app simple and moving they won't won't charge you and I found there to be a lot of ATMs around with these companies interesting Samuel Burke as always tech correspondent that brings us the news all right thanks so much you have a good weekend have a great morning Lynn